now we should be ready to execute it remember the file path is already it would pick this now so it's a start executing guys see one test case one has executed that's cool isn't it so if you see if you open it now we get to app and we get to taka and then we get to taka my computer is hanging and click login now we get to login things are up here that's cool but the point is uh, something different uh, guys that uh, is it it is ready to execute but okay uh, let me make some changes there uh, for example uh, I would make some changes in the uh, or let's say uh, I am giving some different uh, suite config which does not exist actually then what it would do can you guys guess this is very interesting what it would do yes it would not execute because when you will see so it would say that could not read file line for smoke test one because no such file actually exists so so far so good what we have done we have implemented a keyword driven approach for our generator framework but this is true that we have implemented that but this is not the complete keyword driven framework for now the reason is because a keyword driven would not do anything in its own because we are executing our test from the UI we would have to play this button in order to execute that keywords and all which I actually don't like at all so what I would do now remember what my name was earlier for the JMX JMeter Maven right so what I would do now I would add the Maven file and I would Mavenize this JMeter framework with that now please notice what I am going to do this is very important see what I I have added the global variables but I haven't used any of them inside the execution engine I am passing these number of threads ramp ups and loop counts hard coded I don't want to do that I want a utility so that I can control it from outside let's say I can send it from the command line I want to use that I want to do the, those sort of things so next point next thing is I am going to make those changes in this framework I would add a jmeter function hyphen p in order to read that from the command line and I would add that for the ramp up too and I would add that for the loop count too and the second thing I in the test suite config I would say it true and I would call it false because now it's no matter of it would not be of any matter for executing forever I would give it from the outside so for that I would do inside the test suite config true and false all right I would do the different thing and I don't want this file like that hard coded inside this like this because if you will do this and you will export your gmx to some other uh, to some other people in order to execute that on their system it would never be executable because there is so much hard coding involved inside this so we have implemented the keyword driven framework but we can we haven't reduced the uh, uh, what do you say the the uh, the controlling unit we haven't reduced the hard coding issues and all those stuff so next point we are going to do that so now for that what we are going to do I am going to inside my locale and I am going to 
make a folder let's say this folder calls demo what is that folder yeah it says demo inside it right now nothing is there but we have to put inside this framework our jmx which is this demo jmx and in that jmx we will make some changes this jmx is the same jmx this hard coded jmx right so what i would do i'll have to make those changes so now guys i am actually giving the final touch for my framework i am moving this demo sorry i am copying this inside this so now it's here but as you know that we need to make some changes in this jmx so i have already made those changes so i am just going to come and get that jmx from here and put it here and i can simply remove it now what changes i had made in that demo jmx let us have a look so i am going to open up the same jmx inside the documents inside that same demo folder which we have just created i am opening up the jmx now i have removed one library because you can remove this one as well it's of no use anyways we are using this so see the changes there are no changes everything remains same only the keywords uh, i have just changed the names it doesn't matter don't see that in the execution engine if you will come this remains the same everything is uh, is remains the same i am going to show you the changes that i made come and please notice this that this keyword executor is selected here so from bottom to top let us check this is there is no change inside these three but there is a lot change in the global variables i would show you what it's all about you when you will come here test suite config you will see the file is replaced by this some sort of very strange path value all right if you come up here you will see that the url name is now changed it's app url it's not the bigquery.com if you'll come up from our own demo jmx you will see that in the library what we had done in there we had hard coded the url names as well but we don't want that url to be hard coded so what i will do i am just going to open this and if you'll see that every this is also not hard coded this is some expression all right if you will see this this is also some expression even if you will go to its header manager there is an expression there is no hard coded value over here so we only replaced the our domain url with some app url thing and what this app url is inside the global variables if you will see there is an expression there is a variable what which is called app url which has this expression and right now we don't know what it actually evaluates but for example it evaluates something correct so we are actually calling this app url and the method to call that variable in jmeter is dollar sorry dollar and the curly braces and the variable name whatever the variable name you want to give it all right so this is the same thing so call global variables these are the variables test suite jms relative pause so we have seen app url getting used in the sampler request and all now if you come here in the execution controller just see that we have also used another different sort of expressions we have not used like one one and forever we have used these jmeter expressions these jmeter functions hyphen hyphen p this is a jmeter function 
this is a way to do that but these users these ramp up these loops they are not geometer functions so from where they are coming from yes you guessed right they are coming from the maven the build the palm xml file and the same thing for happens for this url as well url this suite they are coming from the maven file all right and if you will notice that we have assigned this gmx related pause a value hyphen hyphen dot resources so you will see what all we have basically done so now these are all the changes we have made now what should we do next so these are the changes we made on gmx now we need to add the what maven file so for that maven file is also ready 